Last week, Meghan McCain threatened a website, a conservative website known as redstate.com. And she basically said that she wanted them to get rid of uh, the totally Meghan McCain column, right? And it was basically a parody of all of the columns that she writes for the Daily Beast. And her and her uh, book. And her book. So yeah. they're making fun of her. You know, it's I interesting to see a conservative website make fun of Meghan McCain. Of course, it's because Meghan McCain not conservative, is right? not conservative at all. Right. So anyway, uh, Meghan McCain said, okay, I I'm going to file a lawsuit against your website because some people might confuse these uh, the parody as my actual blog or right. my actual my column. actual writing right exactly so red state says that they were protected under the first amendment but they said look we don't want to go through the, this headache so we're going to take the parodies down anyway well we thought this story would die except it comes back today uh, talking points memo talks about how uh, the author of those parodies his name is leon wolf is fighting back and he's actually going to pajamas media to publish the same parody Okay. So now somebody else is going to publish the parody. Yeah, some other website is going to publish it. And um, Leon Wolf's attorney had some, I guess, biting commentary about Meghan McCain. So I want to read you what he said. He says, my client will not be bullied out of exercising his First Amendment right to make clear his belief that your client is a spoiled, brainless twit who is cheapening the pol political discourse in this country. Yeah, I don't think that's going to keep her from suing you. Uh, not the not the tactic I take if you're trying to sort of avoid litigation when you call the the other person's client a brainless what twit what brainless? Uh, a brainless twit who is cheapening the political discourse in this country. I have to say I, I'm entertained by it, mm -hmm. but I'm also extremely amused by how unprofessional this attorney is. Yeah, what like kind of? you shouldn't write that in a letter to another attorney. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's true. You know, I'm involved in sort of a legal proceeding right now, and it turns out uh, that most of, many of the things that, that people say about lawyers might be true. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I got a bigger issue with the client than the lawyer, so. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I, I feel a little bad for Meghan McCain. Do I think that Red State should have continued to publish that parody? Absolutely. Yeah. I think they are protected under the First Amendment, and they should have at it, do what they want to do. Yeah. Um, at the same time, D Megan McCain is with the wrong party. She needs to just wake up and own up to the fact that she's a Democrat. Yeah, maybe. I mean, she just, whatever, you're the daughter of a presidential candidate. You've put yourself in the in the public eye. Um, by. I mean, I, I don't think you get it automatically, but by the nature of writing, you wrote a book. Mm -hmm. People get to make fun of you. Let it go. You, do you think that she's uh, cheapening the political discourse in this country? I think she's like six billionth on the list of people who are cheapening the political discourse in this country. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, no, I don't think she's cheapening the political discourse in this country. I'd say Sarah Palin is cheapening the political discourse in this country. I'd say and everybody Coulter. at Fox is, and, yeah. and many people at MSNBC, and uh, and and uh, uh, fewer though. Um, yeah, I, uh, that that's not the uh, that's not the issue.